Hello, my name is Tim Kenny from Tim Kenny Surveying, and I wanted just to share with you uh, just a section of a longer presentation uh, I did recently. Um, and I just really want to talk about the bit of research that came out from Santander that they're calling Buying into the Green Homes Revolution. I don't know whether you've seen this or not, but I think it's a really useful document for us as, as surveyors to look at. Um, first thing I'll say is I'm not a valuer. I, I really focus on mainly on condition, but that doesn't mean that I kind of completely ignore value and marketability and, and mortgageability when it comes to my survey. So I, as with most sensible property professionals, I kind of keep an eye on what's what's going on. Uh, and I think this is quite an interesting piece of research that came up, came out recently. Um, and just to kind of cover off a little bit of the, the background, uh, Santander are saying that they polled 2,000 people, uh, about 1,000 of whom were not looking to buy in the next five years, and 1,000 of whom were looking to buy in the next five years. So you've got a sample of people that were buying, not buying, a bit of a cross, cross section, uh, and also 175 estate agents and 108 mortgage brokers from all across the UK. Um, let's look at some of their kind of headline findings in relation to estate agents. You can see there that 79% predict a significant increase in buyers seeking property with energy, energy performance certificate rating C or above. So that's kind of kind of good news. We can see that they are, you know, estate agents' feeling is buyers are more aware of or more interested in higher EPC rated properties. Obviously, <laughs> without wanting to say any neg anything negative about estate agents, we do always take what they say with a bit of kind of their job is to sell homes uh, and to focus on certain things maybe different focus to what we as surveyors may have so, so so their view on the market may be different from what we as surveyors see but they are talking to home buyers they're getting an idea of what's coming across their door and what people are looking for so it kind of we can give some some reasonable credibility to, to some of what they're saying um one there that's kind of a couple of ones that are maybe a little bit more interesting is also that they think 70% of homeowners may struggle to sell their property due to poor energy efficiency. And that's the one that we can be slightly concerned about because if people are struggling to sell their property, it could, be become, could mean they become a, a stranded asset. You know, if people do not want to buy a house that has poor energy efficiency, does ultimately that, is that ultimately going to mean it becomes unmortgageable at some point in the future? Um, I obviously think that's going to get worse as things go on. Um, other thing to think about, this was, this, this was carried out in May and June of this year. So although obviously we were starting to see the price rises in, in gas and electricity, they weren't perhaps hitting home as much as they are doing now as, we, as I'm recording this, we're in sort of November, where they're starting to change slightly. So you could maybe even think that, okay, well, is there gonna be a more, more significant effect now than there were in the summer? You know, and the summer was nice and warm. Um, one of the ones I'm kind of little surprised about is that one at the bottom there, 70% of estate agents said they were promoting the energy efficiency of a home above transport connections and off street parking. I used to work in, in block and estate management many years ago, and I know how keen people get on parking. <laughs> they want parks in their space and all the problems that can happen with that. So I'm kind of, you know, although they may be promoting it, I can probably say that, you know, people's view on parking is going to be a little bit more focused maybe so they might be saying they're interested in energy efficiency but actually what's happening behind that uh, and some of their the findings that actually address home buyers and non-home buyers uh, are quite interesting as well uh, this is one of the things they kind of listed the sort of i think the top 10 uh home improvement aspirations from homeowners and we can see their energy efficiency boil energy efficient boilers and solar panels come in at the top two and that's that's kind of good news that that implies they really are looking for those efficiency measures um my view is that these are the kind of the two they've heard of as opposed to these being the kind of you know definitively that they definitely want these my, my kind of view is like well they've kind of heard of these things and quite often we find this with with home buyers they're, they're asking for the things they've heard of not necessarily the best options for them. Um, new windows, again, maybe that's a little bit to do with energy efficiency, but we all know most people like to put in new windows. They like to look, you know, the windows make it look a bit nicer or the old windows are a little bit old and tatty and they need to have that done. You've got obviously then a few kind of classics on there that are, are you would expect and have nothing to do with, with energy efficiency. Obviously a new kitchen. Then of course we see fitting new insulation. And, and that's that's important and that's useful and it's good that they're, they're thinking about that obviously that 
that comes with its concerns and you know this is one of the areas where I think really surveyors need to, to step up their game and really be talking to home buyers about yes what they can do to insulate their properties but also some maybe some of the concerns or issues that may arise around that um, you know we've all seen the, the horror stories in relation to, to spray foam and a lot of the concerns that exist within the industry around that but there can be difficulties around cavity wall insulation or some of the options for insulating the floor maybe these can be concerning because we need good surveyors out there saying you giving useful advice to their clients and then of course we see a lot on there that you know have nothing to do with, with energy efficiency <laughs> some of these maybe even are are perhaps go go against that i, I would like to highlight the one at the bottom there a hot tub so five percent of people want a hot tub probably one of the least efficient things you can put in your garden um a new conservatory again they're not the most efficient particularly if they decide to put heating in there uh, and everything else that goes along with that so i think to me that gives a little bit more of a, a mixed view on what people are thinking about uh, and the next one probably confirms it so they found that only 58 percent of respondents you know 58 percent of respondents did not know what an epc was uh, and, and obviously the older the individual the least likely they were to know what an epc were was well, when we compare that to the first statistic, statistic of 79% of buyers wanting an EPC rated C or above property, quite how we tie that with, with some of these numbers, I, I don't really know. You know, if, if most people don't really know what an EPC is, then probably not looking at those higher ratings. I mean, to be fair, if they're a home buyer and they're, they're starting to look at properties and they're seeing these numbers come up, then yeah, they might have a little bit more awareness. Um, but really some of them probably still are not not thinking about it and again this is why you know it's great to see in the home survey standards the fact that the surveyor has to at the very least state the numbers from from the epc and obviously at the higher level surveys they've got to give more information and i think this is where again something we as surveyors really need to be taking a strong lead and saying okay well look this information is there it has its drawbacks i'm not saying it's perfect hopefully it will get better but that information is there. There are, you know, a lot more weird surveyors can, can add in on that that subject and really help to inform home buyers as to what they can do around the energy efficiency of their property and, and some of the good things and maybe even some of the bad things that might exist at that property. And if we can really start talking about that, we can maybe you know up some of these numbers. They should be reading their survey report, seeing that it comments on the EPC, seeing that there's something useful in that that they can then start to to kind of build on. So anyway, that was just my, my views on some of the numbers that, that came out of this report. I advise you to have a good look through it yourself. So it's the Santander, Santander buying into the green home revolution report. It's interesting. It's just one factor, obviously, that, that we as surveyors and obviously valuers out there need to think about. It's not definitive. You know, valuers follow the market. They don't lead it. But we can start to see there is a little bit, maybe a, a build up of evidence. But we do need to keep an eye on it. Thank you very much.